Wimbledon Town 3, uh, Wimbledon Town 1. Rob, uh, another 90 minutes at the Signet Healthcare Stadium. Uh, up to fourth in the table, 10 unbeaten. How do you feel? It was a good day today. Um, you know, quite tricky circumstances and uh, you know, we had a fair bit of disruption to the squad. Jared, you know, a late call last night from the FA at 4.30, actually letting us know, you know, that, that he was suspended. Um, two pulling up in the warm-up and we ended up with two subs and we had to make a few changes and sit Meeks on the bench. So, you know, you know, it was quite disruptive to start with, you know, so we took a little bit of time to settle, you know, and then they've got some good willing young lads, runners, you know, who run really well. Um, but as soon as we got the first, we were very professional. It was quite a scrappy game. Difficult with the pitches in January and Rob and Kev, you know, do a magnificent job. It's hard, very hard to keep it how we like to play. Yeah. But very, very pleased today, you know, very pleased we keep ticking them off, keep that train rolling a little bit, you know, and it's, it's, it's a nice feeling at the moment. Good. And pick of the three goals, uh, one from Ollie, one from Geth and one from Toby. Uh, what do we make of them? I think Geth's goal was superb, like, you know, he hasn't played for a few weeks, come back in and we keep talking, you know, and it's quite cliched about how the squad and you've got a player like Geth who can come back in just like that. Played 90 minutes, I thought he was outstanding today. You know, it's brilliant. It was a great goal, great goal. And it's a very important timing and a very important second goal, obviously. Um, do you feel maybe, I mean, some of those are a few, not injuries per se, but a few just little bits here. Do you feel like that's something to do with the, it being mid-January, cold, maybe some of the injuries are a little uh, bit more likely? I think we struggled with lads playing on the 3G last week, you yeah. know, and you're always going to get one or two little niggles from there. Um, but no, it's just part and parcel of it. Everybody's got it, you know, yeah. you've just got to deal with it, you know. But, that's how strong we wanted to build the squad. When you look at our, you know, you look in the last few weeks where we've had players come off the bench, and you know, and we had Sully come off the bench again today. Yeah. And uh, I know this is—it's only mid-January. It's probably not something that a lot of managers think about. You say you said to us last week, don't really think about the table. Um, you're up to fourth. How how must that feel going yeah, into it? It's, it's good. Know? It's better with that than the table on the other end. <laughs> you know, but it's all about how you finish the league, how, how you finish league, leagues, and. Uh, yeah, we're not bad. We, we may look to bring another one in this week, um, just to strengthen things up. We, we want to be strong. It's very, we always said it's a very important four or five weeks just after Christmas. Listen, it's great to be fourth. We don't look at it too much because it, I still think there's probably eight or nine or ten sides who could still make a challenge for the playoffs. But we're in a good place. You know, we're in a nice place. The lads have acquitted themselves really well today um, on quite tricky surfaces. You know, so uh, yeah, it was good. Good. And uh, I think it's the first chance we've had to speak to you since the uh, the, the news of uh, Lloyd Irish, seven and a half years of uh, his his time at, at this club. Um, what do you make of uh, Lloyd's departure? Uh, in some respects, because I used to travel quite a lot, I'm very sad because it's a great avenue around you. Yeah. He's, a fun, he's a very funny boy, like you know, he's a, he's a great lad, he's a really great lad. He needed to play, he needed to play, and he'd had half a season out, um, and, it, and it was a great opportunity for him. And, and we will miss him, but uh, he needs to go out and play. And uh, looking forward to the uh, ahead rather to the game on Tuesday at Porton Rovers Southern League quarter final uh, in the cup rather yeah. Southern League Cup quarter yeah. final. What do you make of that? Well, it's our last cup we're in, so so we'll be as strong as possible. Yeah, sure. You know, as simple as that. And then we get ourselves ready for Beaconsfield away on another 3G service next Saturday. And we we'll just keep our focus one one at a time. Keep our heads down. We're not getting carried away with ourselves. You know, we realise that we've had our ups and downs this season. We've got one or two injuries here, and there's no doubt about that you know, this week, so we've got to be a little bit careful with that. And we'll, uh, we'll press on to the next one. Great. Speak to you Tuesday, Rob. Thanks very much. Well done, mate. Cheers. Thanks. Well